Hey everybody, um, welcome back to week six, I believe it is, of the PCOF Live. Uh, this week we got a question from someone on Tumblr, um, basically asking if we had any sort of ovarian pain um, due to cysts, like uh, during, you know, sex and uh, things like that. Um, me personally, I have had issues with that. Um, I've had those problems for longer than what I think I initially realized, like before I was diagnosed with PCOS. Um, but with that being said, there are definitely different um, positions that make a big difference. Um, if you have ovarian pain, like you're going to know um, it doesn't feel good. It's, uh, for me anyway, it's kind of a sharp sort of a pain. Um, I don't have it all the time, um, but I think that makes a big difference on kind of what the position is and things like that. Um, but, I mean, me personally, I've had this kind of uh, on and off for a few years. Um, but, you know, like I said, I didn't know yet that I had PCOS. Um, initially, I realized that it was a little off-putting and strange, but, you know, I went to my regular annual uh, pap smear and all that sort of thing and never really, um, it was never such an issue uh, that I felt like I needed to bring it up, although I probably should have. Um, other than that, like, uh, it's become more, more, um, as time went on, and I think this just got worse, it did become more of an issue where instead of happening, you know, every once in a while, um, it was nearly every time, and, you know, again, in certain positions, it's not such an issue, um, honestly, if you really want to know, <laughs> um, like missionary is probably the least painful, um, but any type of like, um, like spooning situation or anything like that where it might be like a different angle, like a kind of side angle or anything, um, that might sort of change that so it would be more in the direction of your ovary is definitely going to have um, more of an impact on how much pain you have, or at least that's how it is for me. Um, but if you try to avoid those things, you know, I mean, there's little things you can do to try to avoid it or to lessen it, uh, but really if it hurts, um, you know, you can stop or you can try something else. Um, but I mean, that's pretty much all I really have, I guess, on that topic. Um, but I also did want to give you guys an update. I've been, I don't know who all follows me on Tumblr, but I've been dealing with this ridiculous, like, face cream, <laughs> which is like, I, well, okay, see, on this side, I, it looks really bad today. I just washed my face. But it looks really bad today, but it's been looking a lot better. My mom says she can even notice a huge difference. But I think I'm still, like, in the purging process, which is really, really disgusting. Um, so I think it's still, like, trying to to get everything out, and then, you know, it'll, it'll continue to improve. Um, for the meantime, right in this area is where it burns so bad. And it hurts, and even sometimes in here, like, just all, all the skin around my eye, but mainly right in this area, and on both sides, right in here, it hurts so bad. So I've been moisturizing, and when, the last couple nights when I put my cream on, I've just been putting it literally, like, right here. So, hopefully, um... You know, I haven't had any issues with it since I've been doing that, or nothing that's getting worse anyway. Um, I do think the moisturizer is helping, although I moisturize, like, literally eight times a day because 
because like the skin here is so sensitive and so dry and it feels like it feels really different like it's never felt that way before and I have no idea why it's so dry right here or like what happened because I was not rubbing acne cream on my fucking eyes so I like I don't <laughs> I have no idea I don't know if it was like when I was sleeping it got on my pillowcase and it got on my face or if I like unknowingly had touched my face and like rubbed my eye or something but it hurt so bad but anyway I'm not giving up on it trying to hang in there um <laughs> I think I will um end up being successful with it. I'm not willing to give up on it yet because I'm kind of sick of living like this. Um, but I do think it is helping and I'm confident that eventually after I get this sort of healed up that um, I'll be able to use it successfully. I don't know if maybe I was like applying too much or I don't know but you wouldn't think it would be this difficult. <laughs> so anyway <laughs> I'm trying to take care of this situation and the rest of my face and everything and um, if you have any questions let me know if you'd like to follow me on tumblr um, add me on facebook anything like that uh, feel free to go ahead I'll leave the links down below um, if you have any questions leave them in the comments tumblr facebook whatever um, and I'd be happy to answer them hope you all have a great week